Now, dropshipping, the model of dropshipping has existed not only in selling digital products, but it exists in houses, it exists in cars, it exists in basically every sort of asset or product in the world. So understanding that dropshipping is just a model, it, it's always existed and it will always exist. It's understanding where the attention is mm -hmm. because where attention goes, money flows. So where is the attention in 2016, 2017, 2018 on Facebook? 100%. That's where we all spent our days. We were all here playing fucking Farmville. Like, let's be real. So who's running your ads? Luke. Very simple. Yeah. So where the attention is right now? TikTok. Where is Luke? On TikTok. TikTok. So where the attention goes, money flows. Position yourself not only to be the best in the industry, to offer products of value and service, but understand where the attention, where the audience, where the liquidity, where the money is. And then you can position yourself there. And I think you can uh, collect some coins. A lot of people say that dropshipping is dead, but you think that it's not necessarily dead. There's just a new iteration of it. Yeah. So what does that look like? I mean, I just got back from Hong Kong and I just met with the top dropshippers in the entire, in all of Hong Kong. And they do about a hundred million dollars a year in dropshipping. So when I have guys that are showing me a hundred million dollars worth of annual sales, and then I have a cat here in Miami that's doing $20,000 a month telling me that dropshipping is dead. Mm -hmm. There's clearly a discrepancy of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Why do you use social media? Are you a consumer or are you a producer? I use the internet to make money. I use the internet to build community. I use the internet to find connections and relationships. I'm not out here doom scrolling on TikTok, wondering what Kim Kardashian and Lady Gaga are doing on their free time in the Frappuccino that some other bullshit. I don't care. I'm using it as a producer. And I think the people that use social media as a consumer are the ones that end up being very, very unhappy. Imagine being so stupid that somebody's out there printing money and on the counter you're working for it and then you're getting taxed because they need your taxes in order to run the government mm. when they can just print it. It makes no sense whatsoever. So stop working for money. Stop working for a paycheck. Start working towards a life that instills freedom and instills your ability to produce money without you having to work. Now, that may sound like insane for 99% of people. So where do you start? You start by not spending. Start by not being a consumer, but being a a producer so most people are consumers that's why they're always in the rat race if you're producing you're always being able to generate income but you don't want to be producing just with your time you want to be producing with systems now you have AI you have automation now you have software dude you can literally be making money while you sleep and if you think that's not real look at all the digital companies that are running they're making money while the owners are sleeping